Hey, what is up, you guys? It is me from WeDMC here, and today, as you guys can see right here, I'm going to be showing you guys how to download, or by the title, I'm going to be showing you guys how to download the Dr. Zark's Most Creatures mod for 1.2.4 and 1.2.5. So this is a Mac version. Uh, it works the exact same way for Windows, but if you guys are confused, then I'll make a Windows version if anybody asks. So yeah, so this is how you do it. You're going to be needing Mod Loader, Audio Mod, GUI API, Dr. Zark's Most Creatures mod itself, and Custom Mob Spawner. So you can get them all from the forms, which will be in the description below. So go to this page of the forms and you scroll down it says, until it says download the mod. So you can download the mod itself right here, Mod Loader, Audio Mod, GUI API, and Custom Mob Spawner. So it's simple as that. After you get them, go and drag them on your desktop and this is what you gotta do. So first, open on up your Minecraft until uh, this pops up and you're going to want to go ahead and click on force update because that's going to clear all your mods and pretty much just give you a clean minecraft.jar and it's going to make it easier for us to download it so yeah so once it gets through there you can go ahead and exit on out of that and open up your finder for on a mac or if you're on windows go ahead and down inside your percent i mean your uh start bar start button thingy type in percent app data percent press enter and that'll bring you to your dot minecraft so just wait there and if you're on a mac go here go to your library and go to your application support and then go on to your minecraft and you're gonna get this or you'll probably have more files than me but yeah so you're mainly going to be needing your bin and your resources and another folder so before we do all this um, if you're on a Windows, go ahead and go into your .minecraft, then into your bin. And then, yeah. So, if you're on a Mac, go into your bin. You're going to have this little minecraft.jar. It may look just like this, but whatever. So, you're going to have this. You're going to want to go ahead and open with the unarchiver. And once you do that, ugh, once you do that, it's going to make a make it into a folder so you can open it. So, after you got the Minecraft folder, go ahead and delete that old minecraft.jar. You don't want to rename it or get info. You're gonna, gonna want to add the extension dot jar. Press enter, and you're gonna want to click on add. So it's gonna make it a dot jar. So now Minecraft reads it. So go ahead and open it on up, and open up your mod loader. So now you have your mod loader and your Minecraft dot jar. Go ahead and copy, or just drag and drop all these files into your Minecraft dot jar. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy them. Copy all the files and apply to all of replace. So all the files from mod loader to your minecraft.jar. Now we're done with that. Now go ahead and open up audio mod. And what you're gonna wanna do is press P and find the Paul's code file. So here's Paul's code, so go ahead and open that up. Open up this, double click, go into sound, go into sound here, go into code CS here go into code CS in here and go ahead and uh, copy that file and paste it into your minecraft.jar code ES or whatever file so after you've done that you can go ahead and go back to the original minecraft.jar where all the files are and everything like that and you can go ahead and drag this IBMX file or copy it and then go ahead and put that on in there and this sd.class file, go ahead and copy that on into there. Go ahead and replace it. And you should be done with that. Okay, just making sure. So, now you're done with audio mod. Next, you're going to need to install the GUI API. And this is a bit bigger file. So, go ahead and just copy all the files in there. Copy all 47 items and paste them in your Minecraft.jar. Replace. And now you're done with GUI API. Okay. And if you're on a Windows, go ahead and make sure you find the go ahead and find the meta inf file. Go ahead and delete that. But if you're on a Mac, go ahead and go into it. And if you see two files that start with Mojang, delete the two that start with Mojang. You need to keep the main fest. If you have the these ones, the code 
design or whatever, CO design or whatever, go and keep those because we're going to be needing those. So, after you're done with that, you're done with your bin. Now you're going to want to go ahead and make a new file inside of your .minecraft or your Minecraft, whichever. Go ahead and new folder, and name it mods. Now after you've gotten that done, go ahead and open it up and you have your custom mob spawner right here. Don't open it up, go ahead and copy and just paste it on into your mods folder. Now after you've done that, go on, oh, whoops, now you're done with the custom mob spawner. So now go ahead and open up your just D Dr. Zark's Most Creatures folder and this is what you got to do with it. The mods folder you see right here, go and double click on that and double click on your mods folder inside your dot minecraft or your minecraft and go ahead and copy that zip file and put it right on into your mods folder inside your actual minecraft. If you're done with that, go ahead and back out so you have like your bin, your saves, all kind of stuff right here. And inside the Dr. Zark's Most Creatures folder, open up the resources and same thing with the Minecraft, open up the resources, go ahead and copy that mod folder into your resources, copy and paste it in your resources, and then you are done. So you can go ahead and exit on out of all those things. So we installed the mod loader, audio mod, GUI API, custom mob spawner, and the mod itself, Dr. Zark's Most Creatures. And go and open on up Minecraft, click login, and as you can see, it loaded it up fine. And if you don't have sound, if it says off, and if you try opening up your Minecraft, or if you try turning on sound, if it crashes, you did something wrong with the Paul's code file. So we're going to go ahead and show you guys that it worked. So open up my world, then crash or nothing like that. Um, so if we go ahead and press escape, go to options, we can say it says global mod settings. Go ahead and go on Dr. Zark's most creatures, and in here you can pretty much just customize the spawning to whatever you want. I'm going to get changed, so I'm going to go ahead and spawn. Spawn. Back. Back. Hey, as you can see, I just spawned a bunch of bunnies. Bunch of bunnies. So yeah, mm -hmm. um, let me go find another wild animal here. Okay, as you can see, that took me a little while, so, um, all depending on what your global mod settings are on is depending on how often your mobs are going to spawn. So, um, the water mobs are a lot more frequently to spawn, so I'm just going to show you guys that it worked. So, as you can see, we have, like, a little manta ray over here, and you have the dolphins over here. If you hit them, your game's not going to crash. Make the sound. I don't know if dolphins make that sound, but I guess they do in this mod. So yeah, it works, guys. Oh, oh we found an animal. Ah, there's a fox. Show you guys that it works. Oh, and a rat. Just to show you guys that it works. You can make some noise and everything. Yeah. Um, you have all the items here. Depending on what texture pack you're using, they, some of the items might be invisible. Maybe. Yeah. Um. Pretty much it, guys. You could use all the stuff. Here, hold on, let me try to. I think you can put this down. Yep. See, 
So the stuff doesn't crash whenever you use any of it. Anything like that. So yeah. That's pretty much it, guys. That's how you download it. Um, once again, if you guys want a Windows version, go ahead and comment down below, and I'll make one. So, if this video helped you guys out, go ahead and please leave a like for it, and if you have any questions or concerns, go ahead and leave it down into the comment section below. Go ahead and favorite the video so you guys don't have to search for it again if you guys have to re-download the mod, stuff like that. So yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Thank you all for watching. Tune in for some more Minecraft videos by WeTheMC and watch some more tutorial videos by WeTheMC because I got a lot of them. Thanks all for watching. Peace.